I showed you how to do a pocket set with a leg hold trap. Now I'm going to use the same pocket and I'm going to show you how you do it with a little conibear trap. Now with conibear trap, you can get one with a single spring, a 110 it's commonly called. You can get them with two, which is a 120. But the idea is the animal comes in, wants to go through the trap because there's something back here that they want. Now depending on how you have it, uh, water level, all kinds of other things, you might put the trigger here and the dog here on the bottom. Sometimes you'll put it on the top. It really comes down to preferences and sometimes there's a good reason for doing it one way or the other. So how a kind of bear works is I'm going to grab a stick. Animal comes walking along and wants to get through there and they push on this. This is the trigger, and when they do, instantly breaks their neck. End of story. So, conna bears are extremely, extremely effective traps. Uh, super lethal, so use them with discretion and be smart about where you set them. Uh, these little ones, these little 110s here. <clears throat> so these little 110s are really easy to set. Um, you can fit them in so many locations. Um, what did I do there? There we go. So, with this trap and this setup, I'm going to put the dog and the trigger at the top. And what I do when I'm using Kana bears, you can set how much of a trigger you want by, you see there's three separate settings there. Uh, I have it on the most uh, compressed, the spring is most compressed there, but you can do this one or that one. So I'm going to do it this way because I want the trigger in the back. That way the animal is going to be even further into the trap before they spring it. So I have these little stakes here. You can buy these stakes and these uh, little brackets that work so well for these conibears. bears. It's almost frightening how well they work. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the stake on after I set the trap. So let me pull that off. So what you do is you set the trap around this device here. And now I, you can do it on the bottom like this. You can do it sideways. You can do it all different directions. Um, I'm gonna do it like this and I'm gonna show you why I wanna do it like that. Because I wanna hide this if you're trapping where there's a lot of traffic and people, you want to hide your stuff. So now what I've done with this pocket set, you can see I've put this conibear in there. And I've put the trigger and the dog on the side. Now, I want to make sure that there's clearance there. That when my trigger snaps, it, it's not up against the bank and there's no room for that dog to flip out. But mink comes swimming like this, kind of like with the, the uh, leg hold. I'm going to pull this stake out here, and he's going to be our mink for right now. Mink comes in like this. He's like, ooh, boy, look at that. I smell something in there. And he pushes against that. When he does, boom, end of the mink. And he's right there. Usually it's going to... It's going to break their neck, they're going to be immobilized, and they're going to be done immediately. So, two ways to do pocket sets. Leg holds or a body grip like a conibear. bear. Super effective, super easy, very versatile, and you're going to catch a lot of mink and some muskrats in the process.